These are the most asked questions from the Digibyte community. Answered. Number 1. Who owns Digibyte? Well, no one really. Digibyte is not a firm, bank or company. There is no authority who can inflate the price by creating more coins. There is no one who can shut down the Digibyte blockchain. Digibyte is everywhere. From miners, to nodes, to active investors and use case scenarios. All these things made up the Digibyte blockchain. Some of the use case scenarios of Digibyte include using the Digibyte currency, cybersecurity, logistics industry and other decentralized apps built on the Digibyte blockchain. 2. Is Digibyte an ICO? No. Digibyte is a decentralized mineable multi-algo proof-of-work blockchain. There was no pre-sale, token sale or central issuance. Digibyte awareness team has obtained an independent legal opinion from a reputable law firm on where our digital assets fall under US securities law regarding ICOs. 3. How decentralized is Digibyte? The Digibyte blockchain is spread over 200,000 servers, computers, phones and nodes worldwide. It also has users from all over the world. The Digibyte blockchain has the most decentralized mining of any chain. Digibyte uses five individual mining algorithms that are equally weighted. Each algorithm has its own difficulty adjustment that is weighted against the other in a dynamic process known as multi-shield. Multi-shield is the advanced version of the original DigiShield. Digibyte pioneered both multi-shield and DigiShield. Four. How fast is Digibyte? All Digibyte transactions are saved into the blockchain every 15 seconds. Did you catch that? Notifications of the transfer usually occur within 1 or 2 seconds for lightning fast sending. Theoretically, 15 seconds, practically near instant. Digibyte has the fastest block speed of any public UTXO blockchain in the world. 5. When was the Digibyte launched? Digibyte has been focused on cybersecurity from the start. Officially launched in 2014, the Genesis block included a hash headline of USA Today, data stolen from up to 110 million customers. It launched with a fully working blockchain that has been improved upon consistently for 5 years. Six. Digibyte had a funder reward? What about the pre-mine? For this question, I will have Rudy from Digibyte Awareness Team to answer this question. Rudy? The question is, is there a reward for the Digibyte Foundation members and are Digibytes pre-mined? There is no block reward for the Digibyte Foundation members, except for the miners only. The Digibytes that are owned by the different foundation members are acquired on different exchanges or mined by themselves. There was just a tiny pre-mine of Digibyte, 0.5%. Half of that 0.25% was given away to the different community members to encourage adoption when Digibyte started. The other half, 0.25%, was being used as incentive for development. Seven. What are the fees for a Digibyte transaction? Again, I will have Laura from Digibyte Awareness Team to answer this question. Hey, so one of the community questions is, how much does it cost to send Digibyte? Well, for example of that, in block 765-8349, a user sent uh, 342 million Digibyte, and at the time that was worth about 6 million US dollars. It cost less than half a penny and only took a couple seconds to confirm. That's pretty fast, that's pretty cheap. 
these were the most popular questions from the Digibyte community. If you don't want to miss another video from Digibyte Awareness Team, please subscribe.